guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm so excited to do my very, very first empties video. I have been saving products. I'm trying not to throw them away just so I can do this video. And finally, I feel like I have quite a bit in order to show you and I will be so happy to throw these out when they are done. So I am including products that are completely empty and products that are right there and to being empty that I will probably use up within the next week or so. So stick around to see what I've been using up. So first of all, I just want to put out there that a lot of these products, I feel like I'm just going to sit here and complain about, but hopefully I liked a lot of them. I am the type of person that when I buy something and I spend my money on it, I definitely want to use all of it unless I just absolutely cannot stand it. When I buy something, I will try and use up every single little tiny bit of it, even if I don't care for it that much. But um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I have kind of everything out in front of me and I'll try and go in like a particular order, I guess. And it is raining like the Dickens outside, but um, I love the rain. Sitting here with the window cracked open and kind of listening to it thunder. I love it. I go ahead and get started with self tanning products. I don't self tan all the time. If I know something, if I know we're going to do something like, like an event or something like that, I will self tan. I am kind of running out of everything and I did purchase this all last year, but some, and then just a forewarning, some of these bottles are nasty because just because of them sitting around everywhere. But the first one is a St. Tropez, I got the hiccups out bronzing lotion and this is self tan dark and um, I really really like this stuff if you are going to use this make sure you get the mitt and you put it on with the mitt and that you would exfoliate and do all the all the all that stuff beforehand make sure you watch the tutorial on how to apply it that way you don't get streaky and you're not wasting your money I really like this I do want to try the the mousse instead of the lotion so I think I'm going to pick up the mousse this year the next one is a product that I saw on Hope Look and people rave about it, but it's the Million Dollar Tan. This is the Moisturizing Sunless Tanning Lotion and Cabana Fan. And um, I didn't like this as much as the St. Tropez. I felt like it was a little bit more orangey and did leave a little bit more of a streaky look. Once again, I did apply it with the mitt. I think the mitt makes all the difference. And um, I don't think I'll be purchasing be repurchasing this. I do have the smaller bottle of this self face tan and I still have a lot of that left. I don't I don't know why, but um yeah, this one is empty, going in the trash. Next one is a box and I purchased a lot of these. They are the L'Oreal Sublime Bronze. I did get these on sale at Target a while ago and this is medium natural tan. I absolutely love this love these um what it is is it's a like a washcloth basically or like a paper like a paper towel in there and you take it out of the package and you just kind of rub it all over your body and it just gives a really really nice glow for the price um I think the Saint Tropez bronzing lotion was like $40 and it lasted a while but these are only this was only $4.50 basically so I really like these a lot and I've gone through quite a bit of them. The next products are some of my like brush cleaners. I have a couple, a couple that I were was happy with, a couple that I wasn't too happy with. The first one is the Bare Minerals Well Cared For Brush Conditioning Shampoo. I bought this on Amazon. I want to say it was about $18, so it was a little bit more pricey, but you do get quite a bit. You get uh, four fluid ounces, which is a lot. It's empty, and I mean, it, you know, it did the job that it was supposed to do. The next one, and I have a little bit left, but it's almost gone. Oh no, that's not what I'm... I have a little bit left, but it's almost gone. It's the... I'm going to butcher this. It's Japonisek Create Beauty Makeup Brush Cleanser. And I know this brand is at Ulta, and I know that Birchbox has a couple of their brushes, so I know they make brushes, but this is their makeup brush cleaner like a daily, so you just spray it on your brushes, and then you kind of just wipe away whatever color's on there. I liked this stuff. I cannot stand the smell of it. The smell is absolutely horrendous. I couldn't even stand to be in the same room when I had to clean my brushes with this. So um, this was definitely a fail for me. I will use whatever is left just because I don't want to waste it. But um, I will never be repurchasing this just because of the smell was so horrendous. A couple of like bath products. The first one is the Bath and Body Works and I'm sorry about the packaging. Stress Relief Vanilla Verbana. 
Um, I really love their aromatherapy line there. The only one that I don't think I like the smell of is the red one. And I'm not sure what the red one is. I couldn't tell you. But um, uh, the vanilla verbena, I've tried the lavender and the vanilla something or another other one. And I'm, right now I'm using the spearmint, vanilla spearmint or something like that. And I really like it. I um, shower right before I go to bed, so I definitely love like the stress relief, the sleepy time, anything type of, it just kind of puts me in a relaxing mood. Another one from Bath & Body Works, and I'm sorry about the packaging again, this is their Signatures Vanillas Shower Gel. This is in Cherry. I usually don't buy these unless they're $3 a piece, and then I will purchase them. Ugh, but this is leaking everywhere. Um, but yeah, this one was okay. I mean, it was good for the price. A shave gel, and once again, the packaging is nasty. This is the Raspberry Rain from Skin to Mint. Just a shaving cream, nothing too crazy to talk about there. The Neutrogena Eye Makeup Remover Lotion, and I did use this in the shower. Um, I would just kind of put the lotion around my eyes and kind of just, you know, buff it out or whatever. It did a pretty good job of removing all my eye makeup, um, but um, I think it was like $4, and it's a pretty small package for $4, so I didn't care for it that much. I am using the L'Oreal Rejuvenating Gel Cleanser as a makeup remover while I'm in the shower, and that works wonders. My last shower product is the Paul Mitchell, and it's squeezed to death. Um, Forever Blonde. Um, it's just a conditioner. I really, really like this stuff. I know I'm not blonde, but it does a really good job of hydrating my hair, especially in the winter months. And it absolutely smells amazing. A couple facial type of products. Um, for the longest time, I was obsessed with the uh, Target Up and Up. Um, their three-step system that's comparable to like Proactive. Uh, but at the same time, I feel like my skin is one or my body is one that gets used to products after a while, like gets used to deodorant to where it won't work anymore, gets used to like facial cleansers where they won't keep my acne away. Um, and so it was, I think the whole system ran about $16, but it's not too bad because you're getting the toner, you're getting the cleanser, and then you're getting, what's it called, like a repairing treatment moisturizer. So if you break that all down, it wasn't too bad for the price. But then when it went to $11, I stocked up on it. So now I have about six. So I'm trying to go through go through those. I've gone through two of the rejuvenating um, toners. And I have just a little tiny bit left that I will probably use within the next week of this. And then I'll be switching back to my Neutrogena stress control toner that I really, really love. And then I went through two of the repairing treatments. I just used this right before I put on my moisturizer and it does a pretty good job of keeping my skin hydrated. Next two products are ones that I thought I was really really gonna like but I just I think that I'm actually allergic to them. Last year I went through a huge battle with hives around my face. My I would wake up in the morning and my neck would be so itchy and it would have like these welts on them and I could not figure out what it was. I changed laundry detergent. I went to the doctor a million times. I took Benadryl, which made me so sleepy forever. And then one morning I woke up and my whole face was bright red except for my eyes. It looked like I stood out in the sun forever with shades on. It, I mean, it was ridiculous. So I went through every single one of my beauty products and slowly got rid of things until I could figure out what it was. And it was an eye cream product that I was using. So, um, and I kind of get the same effects when I use the simple, uh, simple brand. My neck will get really itchy, and so um, I stuck with it because I kind of wanted to see if it if I really was allergic to it, so I could kind of compare those ingredients from the uh, eye one that I went through. But um, I finally threw these products, thank God, because I didn't really care for them. It's just a simple, sensitive skin. Uh, replenishing rich moisturizer and I know people swear by these but I just didn't care for them and the next one is the rejuvenating eye roll-on uh, kind to eyes vitamin goodness for sensitive skin once again um, although I think it probably allergic to it all right and the next product and is one that I absolutely love and I did repurchase it I'll be happy to use it 
Um, again, it's the L'Oreal Youth Code, and I did clip off the bottom just so I could get all the product out of there. Um, I absolutely love the L'Oreal Youth Code. I think it is an awesome line, and um, I've used it for a while now, and I've really liked it. So that's gone. Two makeup setting sprays that I'm almost done with. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. I thought this was pretty good. People swear up and down by the model in a bottle. And so hopefully I'll be getting that soon and kind of comparing the two. But this is the long lasting makeup setting spray. And I've had this for about a year and a half now. And it, there's just a little tiny bit left. And the one that I've been using every day is the Elf Eyes, Lips, and Face Makeup Mist and Set. And I think this does a pretty good job of like every day, like when I go to work and stuff like that. Kind of miscellaneous but this is the crest complete cinnamon i will never ever ever buy cinnamon again that was disgusting but i stuck with it don't ask why <laughs> the next product are the maybelline clean express wipes i love these i swear by these these are awesome if you wash your face um and then you just have like a little tiny bit left this does an awesome job of kind of getting it out of there and i love that stuff Love it. Okay, another one, and I am super embarrassed to show this because it is nasty. I don't even want to show it. It is the treat, um, and it's, it's just disgusting. It's the treat treat lip scrub, and I do have their lip balms that I really, really love. Um, but the treat scrub is sixteen dollars on Amazon. It is very pricey. It lasted for about a year, and I love it. I swear by it. I think it does an awesome, awesome, awesome job of exfoliating lips couple face primers. This is the L'Oreal Revital of Miracle Blur, the oil-free one. It's an instant skin smoother. This was like all the hype um, a couple months ago and I did pick, purchase it. I think it was $16. So it was a little bit more on the pricier side. But, you know, it did a good job for what it was and um, I don't think I'll be repurchasing it only because the Maybelline Baby Skin is kind of the same thing. A lot cheaper. Definitely a lot cheaper. The next one is a product that I was so confused by for the longest time and I don't know if I ever used it the right way or what it was actually used for but I did end up using all of it. It's the CoverGirl True Magic 100 Skin Perfector um, and I mean it's what used to be here was like a translucent balm and I used that as a skin primer. It didn't really work as a skin primer but I don't know it was just a weird a weird product and I know it comes in like a dark shade and like a darker shade I'm just not sure if I used it right but um I know it came in like a dark and a darker formula I'm not sure if that was intended for like bronzing purposes or for people who are of like darker skin tone that's my cat um but yeah so I won't obviously won't repurchase that a foundation that I went through was the L'Oreal Magic Nude liquid perfector and I was in the color 318 natural buff I really 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 like this stuff there's a little tiny tiny bit left but um I apply this with the beauty blender on days that I don't need really full coverage and I think it does an awesome job as just covering things up if you are oily definitely check this out because it is a liquid to powder type of formula and um, even though I'm combination skin I can still wear it and it does a pretty good job this one I have had forever and when I cleaned out my makeup drawers and when I got my Alex drawers right there, I uh, I refound this and thought, you know, I just need to use it. I just need to get rid of it. It wasn't that it was a bad product, but it's the Maybelline La Lime Stiletto Liquid Eyeliner. It's probably one of the first liquid eyeliners I ever purchased years ago. It had a couple more uses in it and finally it was just, it's gone. Another product is one that I went through was the Lorac Pro Mascara. I think I picked this up for $10 um, when Sephora had it on sale one time and I actually picked it up with the next product. Um, but they had like a $10 deal and this was one of them and you know I used it and it was a pretty good formula for a mascara. And my last product I was so sad to see go because it lasted forever even though it was so tiny. It's the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil and Matte Bronzing Powder. You see here, but it is, it is almost empty. There's just a little tiny bit left. Love this. It's very, very comparable to the Hoola Bronzer. I think it just did an awesome job of bronzing my face. It's not too 
orange, it wasn't shimmery, it was nice and matte. Um, but yeah, I picked this up with the Lorac Pro Mascara. It was one of their $10, and this lasted forever. I've had this for a year, and I've used it on a daily basis, and it's it's done its job. That is it for my first empties products video. I hope that you enjoyed watching and seeing everything that I've kind of gone through. There were some hits and misses um, with some of the products that I use. Overall, I'm happy to see all this stuff go. It's kind of exciting when I hit pan on things or get to the bottom. That means that I can move on to the next product, which is always super exciting. Go ahead and comment below if you have tried any of the products that I showed today and what your thoughts were, and I'd be happy to read about those. And I guess I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for stopping by.